Hello. In this video, we will talk about how we can take the existing Blink application that we wrote in the previous video and modify it so that it can do more than one thing at once, uh, a concept that is called concurrency. Go has a number of concurrency primitives that make it very easy for developers to create applications where multiple things are running at the same time. And one of them is what we call a Go routine. So in this tutorial, what we will do is modify that Blink program so that not only does it blink the onboard LED, but it also prints something to the serial console every second. That way we have these two uh, features operating in parallel and we can see how we can use Go routines to easily create a concurrent application. So let's dive right in. As always, I've got my VS Code open. I've created a new directory called Concurrent Blink, uh, which is where I want to put my application. I've also created a file called concurrentblink.go. And what I'm going to do to make life easy is literally just copy paste the uh, Blink program from the previous tutorial, uh, copy paste that in here, and um, then we can start to modify things. So um, let's uh, basically name this concurrentblink.go just so we know. It makes it easy for me when I copy paste this application or this program into my website uh, whose, uh, whose uh, link is given in the description. The one thing that I will say is before you get started here, it would be a good idea to go to my website, look at how I've set up the serial port uh, for debugging uh, with TinyGo, the Pico, uh, and uh, with TinyGo and Pico because you're going to need to use the serial port uh, in order to do debugging. One of the issues or maybe one of the quirks of TinyGo on the Raspberry Pi Pico is that you cannot use the USB port as a serial monitor. You actually have to hook up the UART on the Pico to a USB to UART cable in order to be able to debug on the serial port. Um, since this is something that we do very often, I suggest that you actually do that so that you have something set up for the future as well. Okay, so we've we've basically created uh, the basic uh, Blink program here. Nothing's changed between what we've done now and uh, what uh, we did earlier. But now let's start making some changes. The first thing I want to do is I want to create a function that prints hello to the serial port every second. So let's do that. Right. Let's create a function called print hello. It takes no parameters. And what we'll do is just like we do in the case of uh, the Blink program, we'll, we'll just set up an infinite loop in here uh, with uh, a timer and something that prints hello. So let's just print line um, hello concurrently. Um, we are going to basically do a time dot sleep of time dot second so that we just print this out once a second. We don't need this to become extremely spammy. Um, so we've got this print hello function here. Um, but how do we run this concurrently? The, fortunately for us, Go gives us a very simple primitive. Like I said, we call it a Go routine. And so all I have to do literally is to just say Go print hello inside of my main function and that automatically spawns off this go routine that prints hello to the serial console uh, once a second. That's it, it's that simple. Uh, now that we've got all of this going, um, let's save it and let's flash uh, this application to our Pico. All right, so my Pico is now in the file system mode, it's ready to get flashed. So let's run that, tiny go, flash minus target equals pico, and we'll call this concurrent, concurrent blink.go. Um, let's get this out of the way. And then uh, once we do this, I'm actually gonna take you to the serial monitor here inside uh, of uh, Visual Studio Code, as well as to the iPhone to uh, or to my uh, camera to show you the Blink program running as well. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll run the Flash program. Okay, so everything's flashed to my Pi, uh, to my Pico. 
So I'm going to now open the uh, serial monitor and you'll notice there's actually a device called tty.usb serial-0001. That's what we're going to monitor. Uh, we're going to basically set the baud rate to 11, 000, uh, 115,200. Uh, let's start monitoring. And there you go. You can see the hello concurrently being printed uh, to the screen once a second. But now let's switch to our, uh, to our camera to see the blink going on on the Pico. So now what we're doing is literally we're blinking something on the, uh, we're blinking the onboard LED one, uh, one, uh, twice a second while we're also printing um, the hello world to the serial console concurrently. Uh, so a very simple uh, program that illustrates some of the concurrency primitives inside of uh, Go and TinyGo in particular uh, that make it very easy for us to write embedded programs as well. Um, that's all I have for this video. Really short, really sweet. Hope that it illustrates a very simple concept. And before we go, um, what I want to talk to you about is what I'm going to do in the next video where we'll actually talk about external outputs and inputs and we'll also talk about how we handle interrupts within uh, the concept, uh, within the uh, context of TinyGo. So I hope you had um, uh, a good tutorial and I will put some links to an article about this uh, which is written on my website in the description below. And please, please, please like this video please subscribe. I would love to build up a small audience that actually has some interest in TinyGo and in the Raspberry Pi Pico. Thank you very much.